Okay, once again, we will be doing our loop splice in this video. Firstly, we need to identify how big our loop needs to be. Okay, Braden, what have we done here? Sticky tape. Sticky tape stops it from unraveling. Okay, we, when, um, we can use something like a cable tie if we want, but sticky tape will do the job for now. Once you've identified the size of your loop, what you need to then do is to identify a left, a middle, and a right strand. The middle strand is going to split one of the strands at the intersection. So where these lines are going to join, I'm going to split the rope with my finger and put the middle tether through that split there. Okay, make sure it's the middle one. No, middle, left, right. Once I've done the middle, I do my right. I'm going to go with this fella. He has to go over this strand here. So looking at the pencil, over this strand, under this strand here. So I'm going to lift up this strand and go underneath it with my right tether. Up, right tether goes through, and I pull it tight. Up until that sticky tape or cable tie or whatever you've used to stop it from unraveling. I've now got to go and do my left one. Left, middle, right. Left one is going to split the same two as the first one. So my middle cable is here, going through this and this, okay? The right, left one is also going to go through, but instead of going straight through, it's going to go down, like so, okay? So I'll take my left tether, this one here, and I split the cable like so, and I go down through that hole there just like so, straight down like that and I'll pull that one tight, okay? Pull it through and you should still have a middle, a left and a right. No, left, middle, right, okay? Just like that. Then it's just a simple weave, as I said. Weave go in order of middle, right and then left. It's going to go middle, right, left, middle, right, left until you finish the whole way up that rope. So, middle one. I'm going to go over this particular line here and under the next one there. So I'm going to lift up the one that I'm going to go under, which is this one. So I'm going to lift that up, like so. And I'm going to push that tether, the middle tether, back through that loop, just like so. You'll still note I've got a middle, a left, and a right. Now I've done the middle one, I've got to go and do the right one. So middle, right now, and then followed by the left. I've got to go over this line here and underneath the next one. So I'm going to split the one that I need to go under, and under we go. Pull it tight, like so, and then you need to finish the weave with the final tether being the left tether, which you might often need to turn your knot upside down. Okay, you'll see, I've got to go over this one here and under this one here. So over that, under that. So I'm going to lift the one that I need to go under, lift it up, put your tether through, pull it tight like so. I'm going to repeat the process. Once I've done the left, I go back to doing the middle. Here's my middle. Here's my right. Here's my left. So start with the middle. Over and then under. Like so. Right. Over. Under. Like so. Left. Over. Under. Like so. Middle, over, under, right, over, under, left, over, under. And you continue that on until you run out of your tether for every strand. Now if you do it in order, they should all shrink at the same rate, so you won't have any longer than any others. Back to the middle, over and under. 
right over and under. And finally left, turn it upside down, over and under. Middle, over, under, right, over, under, left, turn it upside down, over, under. Like so, and I'm getting one of these bits to start to fray, which is a bit of a pain, but do your best. I'm just going to stop there, and you should have something like that. You can, if you want, I guess, try to feed those through one more final time just to lock it off. Middle, right, and finally left. And there you have your loop splice, okay? Cheers!